Hey guys, welcome back to Art Life with Johnny Bogdan. Bogdan is about to fly out to Romania today, uh, so uh, I'm going to miss him terribly. Uh, if you like what you see today, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscription button, and uh, hit that notification bell. It'll tell you when we put out new videos. Hi, I'm John, and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. All right. So here I am, getting ready for the winter, big winter, and uh, <coughs> flying out to Romania. Today, we're going to the airport in just a few minutes, yeah? yeah. Yeah, the flight has been already delayed two times and um, I was very excited because I would get to Romania somewhere in the afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon, now it's ten o'clock in the night. But uh, Romania is beautiful mm -hmm. in the winter as well. I mean, this you should yeah, be looking forward to something. You know, I right? haven't, uh, yes, yeah. but I haven't been in a cold climate in so long. Yeah. And uh, for some reason I don't miss cold climate. No, mm -hmm. no. So basically what Bogdan is going to be doing is he's got some dental work he needs to take care of. He's going to be there for three weeks. God, uh, I was going to go, so but long. you know, with the cold and the snow, uh, and now that we, we still don't have the 501c3, so there's not a lot for me to do. So but, I'm going to uh, stay home. Um, I'm taking advantage of this time there. I'm not going to be at the dentist every day, so uh, well, no, I'll, 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 have some, <laughs> I'll have some time here and there. So. I already contacted uh, uh, various artists of different age and different mediums and uh, um, I told them that I want to take an interview of them that will serve as a um, uh, for a clip that will be played at the, our first uh, Aripa Arte Gala mm -hmm. and uh, just to, to you know show uh, possible donors here in Houston uh, some Romanian artists faces. Yeah, excellent. So actually, we might be getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go back for a moment, because before all of this with the trip to Romania, we started the year off with a board meeting of Aripa Arte. This is our new nonprofit that uh, is still pending 501c3 uh, tax-free status. And we got together as a board to have our annual board retreat. Well, it's our first annual board retreat, start of a new tradition. And the board got together and we basically decided we're gonna move ahead. We have great ambitions for this year. Uh, and the first of which was for Bogdan to go to Romania, interview some artists so that we have some talking points and some, some faces to associate with all of the fundraising that we're going to be doing, uh, as well as to um, acquire some art that we can use at an auction. So uh, Bogdan is doing that during the three weeks that he's abroad, and uh, it's important to have that bit of historical context as to what we're doing and why. The journey into Romania began with a hiccup as the flight from Houston to Paris experienced a slight delay, prompting a reshuffling of connecting flights to Bucharest. 
The wait in Paris seemed interminable, especially after a grueling 9 hours flight. Fortunately, a brief respite in the sleeping lounge provided some relief. Upon landing in Bucharest, it was a whirlwind of activity. The first day involved a combination of dentist appointments and a visit to my favorite salon for a haircut. This is my uh, actually first day in Romania and uh, I'm basically um, hitting the ground running. So I start the day early morning with a dentist and I had to make a couple of trips back and forth to the dentist today. I had my haircut done, I have a Romanian haircut now so I look like everybody else here. Haha. <laughs> and uh, what else? I am having my first interview with uh, Denis Stanku, an artist here in Romania, who agreed to um, give me an interview that will be presented at the um, uh, uh, Aripa Arte Gala in March. So I'm looking forward to this. I have to buy all this equipment that you've seen here. I have to improvise the, um, the tripod. I had the tripod here and I asked my mother to bring it to the apartment where I stay and uh, she forgot. So I have to put a table and a chair and two boxes on top of each other and create a tripod and it's gonna work fine. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, you do whatever you have to do when you travel. So here I am, I'm exhausted, this jet lag is killing me, but I have to keep up and stay awake till um, later tonight so I can uh, adjust as fast as I can because uh, uh, I don't have too much time. Okay, ready? Okay, so I want to introduce yourself and tell me the kind of artist you are. What do you do? Hello, my name is Dan Stanku. Uh, I'm a visual artist. Uh, I would categorize myself as a painter and a drawer. Following the interview, Danny and I, I enjoyed a light dinner, getting up for another interview scheduled for the next day. Hey guys, just came back from a short trip. I went to print uh, some documents that I'm gonna use for these interviews, and I had to go uh, uh, to a friend of mine here to have them print them. Oh, it's so lovely outside. There are 20 degrees this morning. It's chilly, but you know, it's expected to be some of the year. So that was this morning, uh, what else, uh, uh, this afternoon I'm meeting with an Ukrainian refugee artist that lives here in Romania and she really is starting over and um, she is Marina Martirosian, well, uh, I, I never met her before and she expressed her uh, uh, desire to be interviewed for the Aripa Arte so uh, I'll let you know what that is. A large part of my inspiration is traveling and interacting with people just everyday life, you know, it's just for some ideas or something I see or, um, yeah, it's just, it, it's like a, you know, I would, if you, if I had to draw an analogy, it's like a, a, a tank that's like, gets filled up by little things that happen or events or interactions, um, and then once that's full, then it needs to find an expression in, in the creative process, in the art process. Hi guys, so this is the third day in Bucharest and I am running. I'm running all the time and uh, that keeps me moving so I can overcome the jet lag easily. Um, what happens now is I'm literally rushing into the old town Bucharest to meet Marina Martirosian, which I interviewed yesterday. 
because uh, she is going to give me the certificate of the artwork she the artwork she offered to be auctioned at the Arifa Art uh, Gala in March in Houston so uh, she is now there in a bookstore with a friend of hers doing a live painting so that would be interesting to see how she spends her time here in Bucharest but I'm literally rushing right now because I have to pick up the certificate and go back to the apartment where uh, John and I are gonna have a live duplex on YouTube with Arpjad so uh, see you guys later Now that it's a beautiful grand hotel, it's called it's still a Renovation. It used to be a fantastic building and still is. And uh, I'm so glad they are uh, refurbishing it. The amazing Cala Victoria I'm on right now. It's a, it's a very uh, kind of a romantic, old commercial place. And uh, you know, one of those stories. All roads go to Cala Victoria basically. Holy moly! It's a lovely, lovely boulevard with amazing architecture. All the new and some needs remodeling, some are remodeled. Just a beautiful place. And this is uh, the old town Bucharest, or part of the old town Bucharest. Literally, when I was younger, this side of town used to be a ghost town. I mean, nobody will come here which is a very strange memories about this place but now it's full of life and uh, buildings are uh, refurbished and it's a lot going on today I don't know why this makes me feel like a exotic plant it makes me claustrophobic in a way I thought at first that they are uh, kind of a covid sort of protection but now they're for heat it just literally makes you feel like a plant in a Solaris, in a nursery. It's all right. I didn't know that, but you know, thanks. Hi. Hey, you can uh, run behind. That's all right. I'm sorry. Uh, breathe, yeah, sure. breathe, breathe. Yeah, here. Oh, thank you. Did it make sense? Uh, I think uh, I also, I don't know if that's okay to uh, I've laminated them. Is that all right? Or do you? It's, yeah. it's, you shouldn't spend money. Come on, but then it's, it's like because they will get wrinkled otherwise, and so on. So I've. Uh... Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, I got the certificate from Marina. Not only I got the certificates, she went an extra step and laminate them. So yeah, you will have them forever. You know that's because I always say that you walk an extra mile. You always under promise and over deliver, right? Yes. And that's the key to success. So, Marina. She's Marina. Hello. And now on my way back for the Art Job, live on YouTube every Thursday at 10 Central Time with John Bishop. So let's do this. Great. While Bogdan is in Europe getting salon treatments and going to, uh, to see his dentist, uh, I'm stuck here at home in sub-freezing temperatures. It's now the third day I've had no water. Uh, it is finally above freezing and the water still won't come on. So that could mean a bunch of frozen pipes. Uh, I don't know if they'll burst. We won't know that until they start to thaw out. So, uh, hope he's having a good time. In the meantime, I haven't had a shower in three days, um, and uh, you can see the dishes are building up. I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for a shower. Wish me luck with the pipes.
I am super excited. This package is something we've been waiting for since, uh, well, for some time now. And I think I know what it is. If you haven't noticed, we have uh, a new book out that is available for free download for a PDF. If you want to go to my website, johnbishopfineart.com, uh, you can download it directly from there. And uh, it's our gift to you for free. But we also wanted to create some that were real physical copies, printed copies. And I believe that's what just come in. Yes, that's what it is. Our first copies of our book. Oh, they look great. Take it in them. We use a company called Mixum and have been very pleased with their print jobs in the past. So uh, M-I-X-A-M. And here's our book. Collecting Art. Look at that. I am very pleased. So we're going to sell these here in the shop and, and maybe give them away as gifts uh, to some of our collectors. But it's an actual print copy that we can sign and sometimes people want to have a physical book and not just a download. It's the same information in both. But I think they're really turned out beautifully. Uh, great illustrations. Uh, it looks really good. Yes, very nice. And they're finally here. Hey, we're not the only one with a new book out. Our good friend, Alan Montgomery, a, a legendary photographer here in Houston, has created a book called Unexpected, which is a collection of about 55 different artists and artisans around Houston that really make up the kind of fabric of the artistic life around this city. So congratulations to Alan. It was great to see him and so honored to have a copy of his new book. Hey guys, I think I'm going to end it here. I know it's a little bit short, but I'm pretty proud of myself because this entire video has been edited by me, which is not my forte. So hopefully it's okay. I may have not gotten all the audio right and all the transitions, but uh, I did my best. Uh, we've had a good week. Hopefully you're having a great week. Uh, we will be back next week. Uh, Bogdan's still in Romania and we'll be there for the next two weeks. Uh, but uh, still have some exciting stuff to share. So have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.